Hi, good evening everybody. Uh, today's session is about how to use bibliometric study for writing a research paper. Actually, it's an introduction session and I try to uh, compress uh, 12 sessions in uh, one session. That's why I just mentioned some essential steps uh, to write a bibliometric Paper. If you like to know about the procedure, you should to attend to the full session, which usually takes uh, 12 sessions in 12 different weeks. Start from the data collection until writing a paper and submit your paper in a, a proper journal. Uh, all my presentation available online. You can find it even uh, this presentation on my feature platform. Uh, simply, you can type on Google uh, my first name, Nader, and my uh, feature code 100797 is 10797. Then you can find this uh, presentation and uh, then see all the slides. Some of the slides which uh, come up with this logo is not included in the uh, online uh, presentation because maybe some copyright issue is there. That's why I usually mention this text because I try to follow all the ethics issue. I try to mention uh, all resources, which I get the image, text, and so on. But sometimes maybe I forget. That's why I usually put this text at the beginning of my presentation. As I mentioned, this logo means this slide is not included in the uh, online uh, presentation. Uh, okay, as I mentioned, all of my presentation available online on my feature platform and this specific presentation, this is the URL address, you can type it and have access to the uh, current presentation slides. Uh, actually, bibliometric study is uh, a statistical tool analyze the content. It's not like a, a literature review because literature review you should, you should go inside the paper and uh, look uh, what the author trying to convey. But bibliometric study is usually considered as a, a quantitative study. It's not a qualitative study. And you need just to know about the numbers of the publication, numbers of the keywords, number of the citation, and so on. And you will do analysis based on this uh, number and to find even the gap in the research, even to find the, what is trending in the specific field of the study. And a bibliometric study can be written as a independent uh, journal paper or you can use bibliometric study for uh, actually increase the chance of accept acceptance of any kind of the paper. Means if you do any experiment or any uh, field study and so on, you can add in the introduction part some bibliometric study to prove that this study should be done. Yeah? That's why. It has actually uh, two applications. One, to writing independent uh, paper before literature review or try to increase the chance of act acceptance of your paper by adding some information in your uh, literature review. Okay, uh, just let me to turn off the camera and to concentrate more on presentation. Uh, today, actually, this is the 
outline and I try to define what is the bibliometric and then we search and we do some hands-on and search on the databases to retrieve the data analyze the data and give you some examples if you want to follow and write your own uh, bibliometric study and and the end also we have some Q and A okay uh, actually the definition we have many many different metrics yeah like alt metrics webometrics cyber metrics uh, bibliometrics and cytometric and finally uh, informetrics uh, but today we just try to cover this part and this part bibliometric study is uh, available after all the documents and data available online and easy to analyze okay here also mention some differences between between different types of the metrics which we have it and I think you are familiar with some of the for instance for webometric we have some ranking even university ranking based on their activity on the web and altmetric is new trend for measuring the impact of the even a paper or a person or a university and so on okay but today talk is mostly concentrate on the bibliometric uh, study and here is a definition i tried to uh, skip uh, to read from the text because you have access to my presentation and you can read it by yourself and if you like it to to know more about the different of the metrics which we have and is very similar to the bibliometric was today is only talking about the first one and bibliometric study which is a, a quantitative analysis method for uh, analyzing all scholarly uh, publications uh, actually bibliometric is statistically analyzed the pattern within the specific research area or body of research and also try to measuring means by bibliometric study we can measure the output of the academician organization university and so on even analyze the publication and so based on the number of citation number of publication and different of the metric which we have it and later on we just discuss a little bit about them okay uh, also bibliometric study talking about the top cited publication high rank journal high rank uh, countries and so on in the specific uh, research area and try to visualize uh, the trend of the existing literature and this is one of the feature which help the researcher to find uh, what uh, is the best keyword or what's the best research area to select for the own uh, research for the future research actually in the bibliometric study we try to understand the pattern we try to also analyze the structure and dynamics and also try to discover the impact and effect of the all uh, publication which is available in any uh, specific area of the research for the first step in the bibliometric study uh, you should select your own search term search term is very very uh, important because if you select a wrong one uh, then the whole bibliometric study may be one usually i suggest uh, to my student if you don't know all alternative or your keyword term is better to ask from the expert to uh, guide you to find all synonyms for instance uh, i have one example one of my students from UK University Kawasaki Malaysia asked me uh, I'm working on the envelope design and I search on the web of science and I found very few less than 
hundred papers was uh, on the web of science and uh, envelope design is not folding a paper to make an envelope actually envelope design is uh, to making a building to save energy so uh, it could have a lot of alternative keywords to find the envelope design relevant uh, paper so you should know all this one uh, I, I show you one example uh, for this form because uh, this form I already uh, make it online here this is just one example and you have access by clicking the my slide and have access to this one it's a questionnaire about the keyword for instance I am not a PhD candidate from for instance University of Malaya who wants to work on educational psychology and so on and this is your suggestion for instance in, instead of educational psychology maybe somebody mentioning the paper education psychology maybe cognitive development maybe self regulation and so on if you like it you can add uh, you can ask from your expert and add uh, some extra keyword here uh, to get more information about the researcher this is the, the first step and is very very important and you can um, have some example from my uh, previous publication for instance this one uh, a team from University of Malaya actually uh, published this one and I'm one of the co-author we uh, try to actually work on every career faculty uh, every career faculty may have different synonym and different, different alternative we ask them they suggest some for instance emerging scholar is one of them we can replace with the early career faculties very, very important to know all uh, keywords this is another example again this one published with uh, some of my co-author from University of Malaya and uh, it's about the big data uh, actually when we search the big data the big data return only 1310 uh, documents from the uh, Escopos database as well but when we add all alternative to the big data even we use some actually boolean search or some uh, truncation and so on we can get more means from 1000 we may receive 11,000 this is very very important and you should consider this one and also you need to mention in your paper this is another example from my previous uh, publication in collaboration with USM University uh, Science Malaysia uh, and it's, it was a family about the family business so all alternative like family business family frames uh, family successor and so on uh, was in the search term and we mention about this search term in our uh, research uh, paper in our bibliometric research paper and it's necessary to mention because uh, the author should the, sorry the reader should be uh, able to repeat the same search and get the same result and do the same analysis okay after you actually select your keyword term you should go for data collection and for data collection we have many many uh, resources it depends on your uh, university access some university may not have access to web of science or escopos but google scholar is public microsoft academic dimension and we have many others if if you are working in the uh, medicine maybe you refer to the PubMed and so on means we have many different uh, databases uh, but today my presentation only concentrate on uh, Escopos databases but in the uh, full session means 12 session I try to at least give some example from the uh, different resources how to collect the data from different resources okay you should know the differences between the for instance web of science and Escopos. Yeah, as you know, Web of Science is more reliable and usually 
very restricted to index the journal. So the number of the journal indexed in Web of Science is about uh, 21,000 compared to the Escopos, which is uh, about to 26,000 uh, uh, journals. So it means the coverage from Escopos is more than uh, the uh, coverage from Web of Science. Uh, I have written with a group of the people a paper in 2013. At that time, there was 12,000 journal in Web of Science and 19,000 in Escopos. And at that time, most of the journal, which was indexed by Web of Science, also indexed by Escopos. Very few, about less than yeah, 10% was, yeah, 8% actually uh, from the they were only indexed by Web of Science. So you have to know these differences as well when you try to do bibliometric study. Uh, and also you should know the difference between these two and the other uh, databases like PubMed, uh, like the, uh, Google Scholar, and so on. Okay? This is the difference. This is one example from Dimension, and Dimension currently included uh, over actually uh, uh, 114 million actually uh, publication is free uh, for everybody to search and also download the data and so on from this one. Okay, uh, when you uh, go to the databases, you need to mention every step and to know, for instance, this is from one of, one of my paper uh, and in this paper, we mentioned when we search the same thing on Escopos, we got uh, 2,900, uh, almost 2,900 in Web of Science, 2,400. Therefore, we selected Escopos because of the uh, more comprehensive uh, coverage, and then we do analysis. Yeah. Uh, I think you are familiar with this type of the chart we call the Prisma diagram, uh, if you write a literature review, definitely you will be familiar with uh, uh, this Prisma diagram. And this is another example, and usually we mention, because oh, you should record everything and say, what was your uh, inclusion and exclusion criteria for analyzing? For instance, in this paper, we actually did the uh, qualitative and quantitative uh, analysis. So the, for the qualitative uh, part, we only analyzed the top, uh, actually uh, almost 50 uh, papers. But for quantitative analysis, we consider all 1,800 papers. OK, uh, I think it's better to go uh, to hands-on part after just presenting very fast uh, these uh, steps. The uh, last step actually is the, uh, actually not last step for paper publication, last step for writing the paper, because for the paper publication, we have another step for manuscript sub submission and so on. For analyze the data also, we have a lot of tools available uh, I will show you the tools and everything in the hands-on part of this session, how you can have access to the tools and so on. But in this session, uh, I just work with one of them, which uh, uh, we call Voice Viewer. is one of the free uh, software which has been the, which developed by the Leiden uh, University from Netherlands, and it's free. You can have it. Uh, access and download it, and there are plenty of the different tools also available. You should also be familiar with the um, different metric as well. Uh, here is one website, uh, is metrictoolkit.org, which you can click this slide and have access to the uh, website, and then read about different metrics because Whenever you want to write a bibliometric paper, you should be familiar with different metrics. For instance, uh, what's the article usage? 
what this number means. Is it a good or bad one? And so on. You have to know. Or what is the H index? What is the G index? What's the difference between H index and I10 index? And if you want to, for instance, measure some of the top researcher or top organization and sort it by the H index, you have to know what is the H index and so on. This is the metric. And uh, for instance, in any field of study, also you should be familiar with the terminology which usually different databases uses like highly cited paper or hot paper by the web of science yeah highly cited paper actually is the uh, the paper which cited compared to the same field of the research area which uh, get the most citation within last 10 years and the hot paper uh, actually the same but in the last uh, two years so if some paper has this specification so we consider is a top paper also okay as i mentioned previously this slide is not included in your uh, presentation in online presentation because it's uh, usually web of science won't allow to even with the uh, mention the non name of the website they won't allow to issue anything from their website because it's subscribe this okay this one also and you should be familiar on of this terminology what is the citing article means and what is the average citation per item and what's the application of this average citation per item or h in the to compare for instance in any field of study, for instance, here is energy storage system, uh, is type of the engineering uh, research area. So the average citation per item is 18.55. You can uh, compare to the inside essential science indicator. Again, this one coming from Clarity Analytical and is not public and is subscribe based. So you can compare here, for instance, in the engineering all years, the average was 9.9, uh, close to 10, means whenever you find some research area around 18, means actually double uh, from the average citation per year, means this is one of the interesting and trending research area. You should know all uh, these things before doing the bibliometric study. Uh, okay, this is another example from the one of the top paper which recently uh, considered as a highly cited and hot paper. And usually, you should talk about this uh, paper in your bibliometric study. Why this paper received a lot of citation between last two years and last ten years, and considered as highly cited? because of the topic, because of the content, because of the methodology, and so on. You need to talk about this one also in your uh, bibliometric study. Okay, in from Web of Science, you can have access also to the uh, publication trend. For instance, this is a publication trend for uh, our example. And in, in our example, uh, the trend, actually, the citation also they are growing very fast and the number of publications also growing very fast. Whenever it's like this one, then we consider the research area is one of the trending and good research area. Okay, uh, this is the one of the view from the uh, voice feeder software in the hands-on part. Uh, I try to do uh, some very fast analysis uh, by the voice viewer. And here you can see, for instance, okay, if you're working on educational psychology, okay, and if you analyze the outer keyword, then you got some yeah, yellow keyword here, like assessment, globalization, internationalization, school psychology. This is all new term. Yeah, it's very, the yellow one is the term, the emerging term. Means if you want to 
in educational psychology select any uh, new research area is better to go on internationalization on educational psychology and so on and this is another analysis based on what this called the cluster analysis yeah? and this is cluster analysis by author and give us some the group of the people which usually working together and uh, so you can find it for instance if this person usually work yeah alone and this is a big group and so on okay uh, and this analysis actually has been done by another software not voice viewer by bibliometrics they give us very nice yeah picture and make a relationship between different keywords in different time frame for instance in the time frame of 2016 2018 yeah framework was very important but in the time frame of the 2019 in 2020 actually the framework divided in the different um, uh, keyword and so on this is one of the actually uh, three difference from the linkage between authors between actually the uh, keywords and the journals yeah me make these links and it was published in one, one of my uh, recent publication okay finally from my okay this is also another tool here yeah, we call qca is another software yeah this is the name of the software qca is another software which can help you to do your yeah bibliometric studies free of charge and is available to this website you can free uh, click and download the software and use uh, the software and you can get like this uh, excel sheet actually you can export to the excel sheet and give you some information about the trending keyword which one yeah in this year which one appear a lot or last year or last two years last three years and so on you have all frequency of the keywords and so on okay and uh, this is the finally some example from my own previous publication for instance yeah these, these uh, six publication is all my publication in 2021 so you can download all of them and use an, an example all of them relevant to the bibliometric study and this one from 2020 and the last one is about 2019 okay uh, let me before going to the q and a go to the hands-on part and then go to the q and okay in the hands-on part first things is to know how to reach to my research uh, tools mind map yeah if you just type research tool i think is enough you can have access to my tools box okay other if if you won't be able to detect this one maybe you need to add my first name yeah just search another research tools okay and uh, this is my mind map uh, which has been visited until you know close to half million times okay i just click this one for full view and uh, these tools actually included uh, 700 different tools which help all the researchers from searching the literature writing a paper and targeting suitable journal but today uh, my talk is about the bibliometric analysis bibliometric analysis tools are here in survey analysis and bibliometric network analysis yeah just click here all the analysis bibliometric data tools i mentioned here from i mentioned voice viewer we try to use this one voice viewer and we have a lot bibliometrics and so on yeah if you are familiar with any of them you can analyze but today i try to use only voice viewer and if you want to use the tools just click the arrow key is the will be directed to the uh, relevant website you can go to the download to the Leiden University is coming from Leiden University 
and download it depends on the OS system, Microsoft or maybe Mac and so on. You can download and install, but it's not uh, it's not necessary to install because actually Voice Weaver is a exe file and you will run it on your computer. It's not necessary to install. Okay, uh, I also talk about some uh, toolkit. The toolkit also is here. If you go to the research and impact. Uh, there is here the explore metric yeah you can click here explore metric yeah from my research tool my map yeah here explore metric and this platform actually is about uh, definition of the all metrics is available here uh, you can search it but it may be yeah maybe the net connection right now is a little bit slow okay you can try by yourself later on Okay, different metrics are not appear very well uh, okay, because of the network connection is slow. Yeah, you can browse metric and there are plenty of different metrics for measuring researcher, measuring journal, measuring countries, and so on. Okay, but as I mentioned, uh, only today concentration is about the survey analysis, bibliometric net or analysis of the bibliometric data and voice viewer is one of the software okay uh, i try to use the same keyword yeah educational psychology i am using the scopus databases it depends on your area of the research okay maybe search it again it depends on your uh, research area you may use article title or uh, you may use article title, abstract, and keyword because I want to be directly relevant to educational psychology. I didn't mention other synonym here because just I want to give you a very simple example. Okay, just you can click here, search. Okay, here is all the data. First of all, you should look at the data which is available in the left-hand side. If you find anything strange here, even you can report it. For instance, uh, yeah, if I mention here, social science research network, 77 years, okay. Uh, this one, actually, we try to do a bibliometric study on communication. Then we realize uh, from here, the communication which talking about a free communication most of the publication are not free means the open access was very few then we try to discover the trend of the open access and we discover it will take 77 years for all the communication scholarly art would be available online so that's why from here also you can get some information. If it's interesting, you can report it. Okay, or go to the analyze search, click analyze search, and from analyze search, uh, look at the, for instance, the trend of publication. For instance, here, educational psych psychology actually fluctuated, but it's growing, but from 2019, actually going down if you look at the publication 2017 actually was uh, 44 then decrease okay so maybe educational psychology we need to add some extra one because then we analyze we realize internationalization in educational psychology is a new trend so if i add internationalization maybe it will be growing very fast okay you can get some information from here even you can get information from the document type for instance if a number of article is too much means it the, the this research area is mature enough compared to the some research area like just let me to test like internet of the team yeah if I mention Internet of the Thing and search and go to the analyze the data, yeah, you know Internet of the Thing is very trending and very new research area. Uh, so you can see 
the number of publication growing very very fast until 2019 then stop yeah 2020 a little bit 2021 is not finished yet okay and if you go to the document type uh, look at here a lot of yeah the majority of publication is conference paper then article so it shows the internet of the thing is a trending one why because the number of conference paper is not mature enough it's still uh, there is uh, a space to work on internet of the things okay uh, whenever you search your result okay on search you have uh, go to the search you can even have access to the history of your search for previous search was educational psychology this one just click educational psychology then you can simply uh, download all the data just click this one and select the comma separated actually i try to because i i try to download very fast so you can download this information and export in the excel sheet uh, then whenever you export uh, you can analyze by voice viewer software which uh, actually i already open voice viewer software in order to just save the time and yes yeah, select based on bibliometric data and go to the read from the bibliometric i will select the same file which i already download and say okay then next you have different types of analysis for instance i want to analyze the co-occurrence of the author keywords or our keywords or index keyword and then click finish okay uh, when i do this analysis i have here three different type in voice viewer the second one overly is very important to select the research area why because as i mentioned it show us the the yellow color which is emerging area in the educational psychology internationalization globalization and so on and even assessment but some of them like uh, yeah, intelligent test is not very new huh? intelligent test is very old yeah is 1920 something yeah if you look at the, the color also we have another type uh, another tab uh, for cluster analysis yeah this is the uh, different cluster of the educational psychology and so on this is the appearance of the data you can even export this data very simple just click here copy the clipboard and then you can paste it whatever you like for instance if i like to paste it here very simple we can paste it here the chart yeah? and it will come up with the logo and so on okay uh, this one was very very uh, short uh, presentation uh, about and very short hands-on uh, about the bibliometric study as i mentioned a bibliometric study is can be written as a independent uh, journal paper like this example which i have it or you can add it to increase the chance of acceptance to the uh, introduction part of all of your uh, publication okay uh, if you have any uh, question i'm ready to answer yeah okay uh, we have uh, extra 15 minute time for uh, Q and A. Okay, thank you very much for your attention and I hope in the future see all of you in the 12th session of uh, writing a bibliometric paper from the beginning how to collect the data how to analyze how to write a paper how to find the proper journal and then submit your paper for getting uh, citation in the future because i 
also one session will talk about research visibility and impact. Uh, thank you very much and have a nice time. Bye.